Okay, um, I feel awkward. Hello and welcome to... It's 2024 and I still can't escape Chef Pete. Hello and welcome to Here for the Chaos. I am your host, Lilac. Oh my gosh. Tell me why this woman, Chef P, more like Chef pissing me off, just cannot seem to go away in silence. We're going to get into it. Uh, don't forget to like, I'm a subscriber, listen to my music. I actually have a new song coming out. So let me know because I'm about to blow. I was just in a Mark Wahlberg movie. That's why I chose this amazing, spectacular, award-winning, award show dress to kind of put us in the vibe for absolute bullshit. So if you ever need someone to dress up for the fuckery, let me know because I am here, baby. Without further ado, for those of you that don't know who Chef P is, what rock are you under? Because I'm jealous. No, but I'm going to give you a little synopsis because we, we got to. So Chef P is a chef? Didn't know what the FDA was? We'll literally never let you live that down. What do you mean FDA approved? I don't sell medical products. The pink sauce is not a medical product. The pink sauce don't contribute to your health. I never said that. She went viral on TikTok for making the pink sauce. Not much guesswork in the name because that's what it is. It's a Pepto-Bismol ass looking sauce. And most recently, the lilac sauce. The audacity, the absolute, as Swoop would say, gluten-free audacity that you would take my name and make lilac sauce. Everyone was here for her. We were rooting for her. We were all rooting for her. And she was shipping this sauce out of her kitchen at home with just no regard for people's health because people found glitter in their sauce. She wasn't shipping it refrigerated, so it was exploding on people. It was just a whole mess. People were like, nah, that sauce got botulism in it. The doctor's gone rotten. It was just a whole thing. And in the midst of this, a company called Dave's Gourmet, they gave me an exclusive statement in my last video about this. Hey, basically, was like, okay, girl, why don't you stop this little shabby saloon you got going on and we will come in there and we will make the sauce the right way. So they made it shelf stable, you know, ready to sell in stores. It wasn't pink, as she said, it was beiged. Y'all deserve to see a fabulous sauce. And that is not what this is given. This is given beige sauce. But you know what? At least people weren't going to die from it. All right. Not that long after Dave's Gourmet signed her, which is a chance of a lifetime. Really can't believe she blew this. She's coming out saying all kinds of stuff. She's saying Dave's Gourmet is not paying her. She's saying that they're just taking her product from her. She's saying that she's having to use her mom's disability to pay for her children's food because she's not making enough money because Dave's Gourmet is like skimming off the top essentially or taking her money just taking it. And they basically were like, what are you talking about? They started pulling out the receipts showing that Chef P, oh, brother, this she was saying stinks. she wasn't being paid. Dave's Gourmet pulled out the statement saying that she asked for 10K for her birthday. Meanwhile, saying she was going to get evicted and she couldn't feed her kids. She's trying to write off things like new sneakers and new dresses and stuff like that as an expense. A marketing expense. And you know what? The only thing I will say for Chef P, Chef picking at every last one of my nerves, is that she's an Aquarius and so am I. Oop. So it's almost Aquarius season. Girlies need to be ready, need to be on, need to be popping. That's the only thing I'll give you is that you were an Aquarius, but I also don't claim you because you out here acting a damn fool. Lilac sauce. So basically it came out that Chef P was scamming them. Allegedly. Don't play with me, girl. And Dave's Gourmet then also released that they had been fronting her money. They fronted her so many thousands and she's over here saying, oh, well, I'm so behind on my rent. I need help or me and my kids are going to get evicted. They said, bet, girl, I got you. And she said, oh shit, that worked? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my rent is $43,500 D two dollars okay and so if you would kindly give me four trillion then i will have enough to pay my rent what don't 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 calculate the numbers okay 
Don't get crazy. I'm telling you that I need 50 trillion gazillion dollars so I can pay my rent of 47 bajillion bajoozles. Okay. And then Dave's gourmet and everybody else was like, mm, wow, I know we got girl math, but that math is just really not math in. I'm not really sure what you're talking about. And that's kind of where it went. Like I talked to Dave's gourmet. They said that she's still in contract with them as of my last video. If you haven't watched, go watch this. It's the most viewed video on my channel. Let's pass it up with this one. Let's get the 15K, please. That would be so cool. And it's just been unraveling from there. She had to go fund me where Kyrie Irving, the basketball player, donated 24K because he's trying to get in that that pink sauce holder if you know what i mean should i call it a holder do you think that she stores it in there it ain't refrigerated in there so it's pretty much the same thing as wherever she was storing it before that's pretty much the tea on that it's just been her and dave's gourmet going back and forth and dave's gourmet going is you crazy or and her going like 100 percent give me 50 quadrillion bajillion dollars after all that the next sequence of events that follows was that her sauce was getting discounted everywhere i'm talking it was at dollar store it was 25 cents in some locations because walmart even was like like, um, hey girly, we kind of want nothing to do with you. I hope that's okay. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's not because we're kicking your ass out, right? Right? Okay, love you. <laughs> not really. And they were like, get the shit out of here. And even Dave's Gourmet is like, probably, I can only speculate, discounting it as well or behind the discounting because they're probably like, get the shit out of here too. In the midst of all this fiery chaos, which is my gig too, here for the chaos. Now you come for my brand because you being chaotic. <laughs> the audacity the audacity in the midst of all this there was a girl on tiktok named Allie, and she reviewed the pink sauce the first time around and she really didn't say anything bad about it she was like it's not really for me but it may be for someone but that someone ain't me that's really the worst that she said okay y'all i've been back and forth all day whether i wanted to make this or not but i bought it in the first place to review it if you look at the order receipt i ordered it july 1st that was before any of the reviews came out so i bought it because i wanted to give y'all a hundred percent honest review so that is what i'm here to do my bottle doesn't look swollen okay it doesn't it gives there's no swollen i've checked the seal everything's good on that a little bite it's not gonna hurt me. And if I get sick, at least I have someone sick with me. Um, so it's sealed. Okay, there's no air coming in or out of it. So it just, it smells like ranch. Like it smells like the dry ranch packaging. So there's really not like a bad smell to it at all. All right, she's a little bit more brave than me. So we're just gonna put that on there. I'm just gonna try that much so cheers. cheers doesn't really have a taste it is um, like sweet ranch the aftertaste i'm not messing with it's like watered down ranch just like everyone's saying but yeah there's like a a sweet aftertaste that is not good like i would not eat this on my pizza i wouldn't dip my chicken nuggets in it she, she will, obviously, because she's still eating it. So if anyone ends up in the hospital, it's going to be her. But it's not bad. Definitely not worth $20 a bottle. But we support small businesses. I don't know if she's fixing things or not. That's not my problem. But it's decent. Not decent enough to buy for $20. And I don't really care for the taste. It's not disgusting, but it's not for me. I don't really like it. Again, it's not like rich and creamy. Something that I would eat my pizza or like garlic knots in. Watery. I don't even know what I would dip in this. So, um, yeah, totally do not recommend. And somehow they got this customer to come on a talk show, the Karamo show, where him and Chef P just gaslit her to filth and told her that she is ruining Chef P's life and she's causing harassment and danger to her family because this girl really tried this awesome it's okay. They were like, you're a fucking monster. You are lower than the lowest of the low. You're fucking, what's the lowest of the low for me? <sighs> grape flavored anything. You're fucking grape soda. And am I going to cause a shit storm in my comments because of that? Yes. But listen, everything grape flavored, except for real grapes is fucking gross. If you want to fight about it, we can fight about it. So anyways, they're like, you're fucking grape soda. You're disgusting. You're belly button lint. And she's like, I just said the sauce was I like, what, what is we doing? I don't, uh, what? 
All right, so this is the first time you two have ever met each other, right? Correct. Okay, then. And you're both influencers, obviously, on TikTok. Now, before we go any further, I had to is because you didn't feel comfortable in sitting next to Chef Pete. Yeah, I that? just, I feel like I haven't met her yet. And just kind of the last line of her saying that I harassed her just didn't make me, un made me uncomfortable because I never set out to harass anybody. And okay. I think that's like a little bit delusional to say something like that. So I think it's delusional to send a sample to a laboratory after you stuck your finger in it. But you then went further. Yeah. Tell me what you then did. So I saw it and I was like, wow, this is such a cool sauce. It's bright pink, like I'm a sauce girl. So when I was doing the review, there was just so many red flags that I saw in it. Like the label, you know, when you make a USDA label, you have to put in batch numbers because if something were to be recalled, you have to be able to trace it down to the salt and pepper that is in something. And so if something- oh, wait, not to cut, not to cut you off, but to cut you off. So you didn't see the video because you follow me, right? Well, I wanna hear Ali. I'm on my TikTok, I follow you. You have my address, my phone number, my email. If once I posted my original video, if you wanted to make things right as a business owner, when you create a product, that's your pride and joy. You send it off to someone, they don't like it. You're like, oh my gosh, like that's my pride and so joy. Let me that fix you it. you weren't contacted by no, Chef No, and, and the thing is, if you knew I had a problem with it, you could have contacted me and I could have turned around and I'm not a hateful person. I could have been like, wow, Chef P contacted so me. So you're saying that you contacted me. No, I'm saying you I didn't never contacted received... me. Okay, but why would I contact someone who's fabricating something on the but internet? Nothing you're, was fabricated. You, to be honest, you're not special. You're not special. Okay? So why should I lose my mind and approach you directly when you're fabricating something on the internet? Well, so I, will, I will say this because I want to hear both of your sides. I will say this. As Chef P, as a businesswoman, no matter what someone reviews your products, unfortunately, everyone is special to you because that's going to be your business. I could have, you know, taken down the video and done my testing and kept it to myself, which I did. No, you could have reached out to me like, hey girl, you know what? I see what you're doing, it's amazing and all. I'm a supporter, but I think you should look into this. Take this step. Did you research this? Did you check out your packaging there? Versus trying to tear down my business and my livelihood. You I, could have contacted me directly, can, just can, like- Can you receive I, that? I, yeah, and you I- You keep saying that I should have reached out to you, but in, and also, and I'm gonna touch your hand when I say this. When I said that you're not special, I meant that okay. as you're not special as far as someone trying to hurt me. And luckily the internet was on Allie's side because there's only one side to be on and it definitely isn't chef precariously stomping. <laughs> chef precariously stomping out all of my patients. Thank you. Thank you for that performance. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the Oscar for the best YouTube channel. Me? <laughs> the Oscar for the most popular person in the whole world ever? Goes to me? Oh my God, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everybody was like, oh, Chef P, this ain't it. And Karamo show, this ain't it. Like this customer did nothing wrong. You're over here saying that she's just terrible. And Chef P actually apologized after this. Okay, now keep in mind, like I said, this is in the midst of all her other chaos. And I'm sure she's trying to have some level of damage control, even though let's be real with her, there is none. The girl is just walking self-sabotage textbook. Like I said, and I've speculated in my other videos, I really think that there is some narcissistic personality traits in this person because they can't fathom that the world doesn't revolve around them. And they think that they're the victim and everything. And it's just crazy. And I feel bad for her kids. Chef P and the Cromwell show got reamed for that rightfully. So Chef P apologized. Everything was good and well, right? Not really because Chef P was still going through all the days where I'm scammy and blah, blah, blah. which if you haven't seen my other videos, you really have to watch it because this isn't going to make sense to you. But we're all fine. We're all dandy. We're thinking that Chef P and her pink sauce are going to come to went in because Dave's Gourmet is not with it anymore. And suddenly she announces that she's coming out with blue sauce, uh, revenge, um, orange sauce, fool me twice, fool you sauce, top of the morning to you sauce. Like seriously, any sauce you could think of, she's making it. And let me tell you, boo boo, if you thought your branding is going to be better than when you had a company backing you, I can tell you by this. Hey yo, what the fuck? 
That's a fat no. What the hell is that? Couldn't be more unappetizing if you tried. And this is where a lilac sauce came in as well. You couldn't have called it blue sauce? Lilac feels targeted. I asked the interview girl and you ignore my email. Well, who the hell else asking you? I wait. She starts making all this sauce. Everybody's like, again, this ain't over yet. All right. Okay. I mean, I'll get my popcorn girl because it's always entertaining. One thing she is, is entertaining despite her best efforts. And it's not when she thinks she's being entertaining. It's all the other times where she's like losing her shit, where it's like, obviously, what did you think was going to happen? So then Allie, that same girl we just talked about, discovers the chef P has blocked her. Now, why do you think she done did that? Everybody thinks it's because she's coming out with new sauces and she doesn't want this girl to review them. I am shook right now, guys. The pink sauce lady, Chef P, has blocked me. I don't know if I should be honored, but someone texted me this morning and they're like, hey, did you know that the pink sauce lady is releasing a blue sauce? And I'm like, no, but you guys know I'm going to be the first one to try it. Yeah, she must not want me to try it. And you guys probably don't know this, but me and Chef P have no more beef, okay? After her and Mr. Karamo Brown apologized to me, after gaslighting me on national television, we were good. We were chill. Like, I supported her because that is just the person I am. And so I was so excited about going to look into this blue sauce. I can't find her shit nowhere. So I went to my other two accounts. Can't find her shit nowhere. She must have been really invested in me to find both of my other accounts that I do other products like beauty and fashion on. I thought maybe she deleted her account, okay? Because there's no reason why she should block me. So Chef P, I have a question for you. I need y'all to let Chef P know in her comments that I really want to try this blue sauce. Now, it makes you seem like your apology wasn't genuine because you were willing to admit you were wrong with this customer and now you are blocking them from using your stuff. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> either. It's just very weird and she just keeps digging the hole deeper and deeper and if she thinks that her sauce is gonna do well, it's not. You had the company behind you with the money and the knowledge to make it shelf stable and to make your product successful and you threw it away. Now you think that people are going to want you to go back to shipping shit out of your kitchen which first of all you're one person you could only do so much anyway but second of all what about all the health issues that got you here i have truly never seen anyone self-sabotage this bad i don't know what what the hell going on but i do know that whatever sauce she comes out with i'm gonna try it and y'all can bitch in the comments and be like don't give her your money i don't care i am curious Okay, I need to know if it's the same exact sauce, but just with food coloring or what? Because I'll tell you one thing, the pink sauce when I had it, it was not that bad. I know, I know we all want to hate it, but it wasn't that bad. Even Allie said that, which is again, why I don't understand why she got blocked. Cause even Allie was like, it's pretty good. You know, it's good on salads. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a train wreck. Like I said in the beginning, everyone was rooting for a small business owner. Everyone was ready. The girlies was ready to buy pink sauce and explode her into the multi-millionaire she thinks she should have been already without putting in even close to the amount of work but she threw that away for i don't know what but i'm interested to see it that's pretty much it tell me what you want me to talk about next or you know if we want to go into some other kind of videos let me let me know i'm trying to go down the like film cooper danny gonzalez cody co route of like not always just talking shit i want to do other things like buying things off TikTok and whatever. So let me know if that's something you want to see. Don't forget to like, comment, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, listen to my music. I got a new song coming out. It is my baby. I have been working on this song for years. So please sit a spell, put my song on your pre-save list whenever that pre-save list becomes available. Even though I know nobody pre-saves, just lie to me and say that you did. And I will see y'all in the next one.